What's up, juniors? Are we ready to make some noise? Come on, guys. I know you can do better than that. Let me hear you. All right, guys. So I'm going to introduce to you some ladies, some gentlemen that you are very familiar with. We have our counseling team here ready to give you and prepare you for the future. Now, the way this is going to work is the loudest loudest section that is cheering for their counselor gets some prizes, so you do need to be loud. All right, so introduction of the counseling team. We have Mrs. Maria Flores, CCMR specialist. Let me hear it for Maria Flores. That's not loud enough, guys. She wants a little bit more. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. See, where's that Maria. section? Where's that section at? <laughs> Ms. Maria Flores, CCMR Specialist. Let me hear it for Ms. Maria Flores, everybody. Yes, yes. Loudest section gets a prize. so that we can call your parent to schedule the conference. Basically, for your con conference, we're going to discuss where you're at at this point, right? Um, and what your plans are in regards to college, career, or military, right? We're going to discuss all the... Excuse me. We're going to discuss all those things, and we're also going dis to discuss um, testing. Um, they, I was told not to talk too much, so... <laughs> I was like, because I can go on forever. So basically, uh, the key point here is um, when we contact your parent, um, we ask that they please come in so that we can discuss um, your um, education with both the student and the parent. Okay? Thank you. Okay, so next information that is coming up is senior year off period requirements. I know y'all want an off period, because I, I do too. So listen up for that information year off period requirements. Okay guys, so during senior year, most of us are going to be done with our credit, so we're going to be requesting an off period from our counselor. In order to get an off period, you do need to be what we call CCMR complete, college, career, military ready. And we'll talk about what that means when we go through the performance acknowledgements today. But just remember that before you ask your counselor, can I have an off period, you need to check, am I college, career, or military ready? Got it? So to have an off period, what do we need to be? Very good. College, career, military ready, okay? All right, and now we're going to go ahead and cover the different courts, medals, and honors that, were, that you can receive upon graduation. So on the next slide, you will be seeing a QR code. Go ahead and take out your phones and scan this code so that you can follow along and review the different courts and medals that 
you all can go ahead and receive. So go ahead and scan the, the QR code. Maria, can you move it? And you're gonna get a checklist with information that we're gonna go ahead and cover. Okay, students, our first chord is this beautiful purple chord, and it's for, uh, given to students who earn the distinguished level of achievement. So you ask, what does that mean? What do I have to do? Okay, so for the distinguished level of achievement, basically you have to graduate under the Foundation High School program with endorsement. You have to have your four Englishes, you have to have four math, you have to have algebra two, your four sciences, and uh, your four social studies, and you, of course, you have to have an endorsement, which is basically what we have everyone here on track to graduate with. So if you graduate the way your counselor guides you to, then you should have a court, a purple court. All right, so the next court is the honors. Who gets to graduate with honors? So basically, if your GPA average is 90 or above, that means that you'll be graduating with honors, and you get this beautiful yellow court that says honors. Total GPA. So remember that this year you'll be recognized with the Latin honor system of Zuma Cum Laude, Magna Cum Laude, and Cum Laude. And basically that's what the honors chord is for. Who's next? Okay, the next chord is uh, red, blue, and orange chord. Students earn this chord when you enroll in Kate courses. So by enrolling in a Kate course, you'll get a chance to earn an industry-based certification or a license. What that means is that not only are you taking these classes, but you do have to take the certification exam. So some of these um, certifications include a welding certification, a certified nurse's assistant, a cosmetology license. Hello guys, for the next chord it's going to be the silver chord, so um, you, want, you want to help me with it? So in order for you to earn the silver chord, you need to take a fourth English and also have an 80 average on all the four Englishes, which is English 1, 2, 3, and 4, okay? So, uh, and then also you need to take a third foreign language. So if you're taking Spanish one and two, uh, you need a Spanish three. Or if you're taking French one and, and it's a French two, you need a French three. And also have an 80 average for that as well. Okay? For those of you that are taking TELPAS or that take TELPAS, uh, the score has to be an advanced high as well, uh, you, you know, for you to get this chord. Uh, you can also get this chord if you have uh, 12 hours of uh, dual enrollment classes. And also if you have a, if you scored on an AP test, a three or higher. So, so like out of five, you need to score a three, four, or a five in order to get this chord. And then the last one is if you completed an associate's degree. Any questions on the silver chord? Thank you. We have one more core that's part of the advanced coursework. So how many of us have taken an on-ramps course? We have our on -ramps one of our on-ramps teachers here. So if you took the on-ramps course and you passed the class, you'll get this orange cord. Okay, so not that many kids have it, so we only have one today. So we're going to award it to Ms. Marelli here. So Ms. Marelli gets the on-ramps cord. Okay, and then we have the lime green. So remember we talked about an off period. This is what you need to have in order to get your off period as well as um, be college career and military ready and get that lime green. So a college career and military graduate must have one, so you only have to complete one of the following. Score a three or higher on an AP test, meet the college readiness score on TSI, so pass your TSI, math and reading and writing, all three, get a high score on the ACT or SAT, earn three hours of college credit in either English or math, 
Earn nine hours of college credit in any subject, including CTE, earn an associate's degree, complete and receive at least three hours of college credit in UT on-ramps course, earn an industry-based certificate in a level two course. So when your counselors uh, go through the courses, they'll let you know if you've taken a level two course, a level two CTE course, and you've earned a certificate in that course. And also, if you are a student that has an IEP, you may also get the green court if you graduate with an endorsement. Okay, so those are the options for the lime green. Got it? Questions? Awesome. Just real quick, students, those of you in the top 10%, you must earn DLA. Okay, you must be um, a distinguished level of achievement. Okay, you must have that if you're in the top 10%, okay? Which means you have to pass your algebra too. Go ahead and scan the QR code and it will take you to the counseling website. I'm gonna go ahead and scan it myself. And that is the checklist that you will be following as a senior. The first thing that you see there is getting your FSA ID. And it tells you exactly what to do. Yes. Also, you have options like taking the TSI, taking your ACT exams and you're gonna get options as well on how to get tutoring for those exams and that's also going to be provided to you on your cohort 2024 google classroom and on your gear of google classroom as well so there was a question nhs if you are in nhs once you're in NHS, you're in NHS for the entire high school, your entire high school years. You do have to complete those community service hours in order to get the sash. So you'll have a sash for NHS as well. Has everyone scanned this QR code? Because we're about to play a game and you need it to play the game. Okay, are we ready? Okay. So, since we're all in here, everyone in the class of 2024, we're going to be playing a game to see how good of listeners our Gear Up Kids are and how uh, much of critical thinkers we are. Using the college bound checklist, we're going to have a scavenger hunt. What we need is I need our, our counselors to please head on this way. And then Ms. Cavazos will give them their bags. So each counselor, go ahead and come on over. So, we ready for the rules? Okay, using the scavenger, using the, the website, the college bound, the college bound checklist, Ms. De La Garza, our MC, is going to be at that end. She's going to be asking your team a question. Once your team finds the answer, your counselor will hand you a balloon, one of you. You will run all the way over here. You will have to pop the balloon using only your bottom, no hands. Got it? You got to sit. Us. Okay? You got to sit, so, and you gotta pop sit on the balloon and pop the balloon. Got it? Now, the first team that pops the balloon will get to give the answer to Ms. De La Garza. And that's the team that will earn the point. The, the team with the most points wins our prizes and then we could start the raffle because we have gift cards and other things we want to give away. Ready? And you want to make your way over there, Ms. All right, guys. Y'all get ready to pop that balloon. Search for the answers. All right, are we ready for question number one? How do we request a transcript? How do we request a transcript? Oh, we got an answer here.